Biomaterials are any synthetic or natural materials used to improve or replace functionality in biological systems. Biomaterials play an integral role in medicine today, in restoring functions and facilitating healing for people after injury or disease. Materials have been used in medical practice since prehistoric time. The historical use of biomaterials dates to antiquity, when ancient Egyptians used sutures made from animal sinew. Today, material science plays a crucial role in many aspects of biomedical science and technology. As the modern field of biomaterials now combines medicine, biology, physics, chemistry, tissue engineering and material science. In this video, we will give a concise introduction on biomedical materials and its critical roles in the field of biomedical engineering, tissue engineering, and the society at large. Do well to watch the video till the end, and if you find value in the video, like and share the video, and also subscribe to the channel. Nature and properties of materials used in biomedical application. The primary requirements for biomedical material is the need to avoid any detrimental response by the human body to the substance, whether the material is implanted in the body or used as an external device. In addition to this primary requirement, a biomaterial must be optimized for a different set of physical properties for each application. For example, the properties required for artificial blood vessel are different from those required for bone reinforcement. Biomedical materials are grouped into two main categories, bioerodible material and biostable material. Bioerodible materials, they are those materials that decompose to harmless product when implanted in the body. That is, they are unstable. They are used as surgical sutures, controlled drug delivery devices, polymeric drugs, polymeric antibacterial and antifungal agent etc. Biostable materials. They are made for their resistance to breakdown in a biological environment. They can be subdivided into hard tissue replacements and soft tissue replacements applications. They include dental materials, cardiovascular material, soft tissue prothesis, membranes for controlled drug delivery. Range of material employed. Metals, ceramics and polymers are used as biomedical materials. Of these, polymers are being increasingly employed in medical devices, although metals and ceramics have important specialized applications. Other materials employed include biomaterials composites and biofilms. Metals. The condition for corrosion resistance restricts the number of metals that can be used in internal medicine. The common example of metal use are gold, silver, titanium, and stainless steel. Gold is widely used in tooth restoration because of its inertness, malleability, and ease of fabrication by melting. Silver is less expensive than gold, but more prone to tarnishing and corrosion. When alloyed with mercury, it is one of the most widely used. Stainless steel is used as pins and spikes to reinforce bone fractures. It has high strength and corrosion resistant. Titanium is a metal that overcomes nearly all the drawbacks of gold and silver. It is lightweight and corrosion resistant. Titanium is more difficult to fabricate than stainless steel and is more expensive. Both stainless steel and titanium are employed as the ball joint in artificial hips. Ceramics. Ceramic oxide is mainly used in medicine as replacement or fillings for teeth, in bone repair material, or in artificial hip joints. Calcium hydroxyapatite is the mineral component of both bone and tooth enamel. Various composites of calcium hydroxyapatite with polymers have wide use in dental restoration and bone repair cements. Polymers. The flexibility, elasticity, and ease of fabrication of most polymers makes them an apparent choice for many biomedical applications. They are chosen to imitate the characteristics of many different types of living tissues, from soft tissue to bone. In addition, their surface can be modified to augment biocompatibility. Few polymers wear down hydrolytically to relatively harmless product. Biomedical composites. A biocomposite material is a combination of matrices such as polymers and reinforced natural fibers. These composites imitates the morphology of the living materials with excellent biocompatibility. The polymer matrix protects the fibers from mechanical damage and environmental degradation. Biocomposites are divided into wood and non-wood fibers, which all contain lignin and cellulose. Wood fibers have a low degree of cellulose crystallinity 
and include hardwood and softwood fibers. The non-wood fibers are applied in the industry because of the good mechanical and physical properties. Based on the concept of matrix phase, composites is classify into metal matrix composites, ceramics matrix composites, and polymer matrix composites. According to the basis of reinforcement, they are classified into fibrous, particulate, and laminate composites. Biofilms. Two different types of artificial biofilm models were developed. Homogeneous agarose beads, and porous beads containing pores with diameter from 10 to 80 micron, allowed the embedding of cells, particles, and typical biofilm matrix components, such as proteins and polysaccharides. A brief description of some of these biomedical device and their applications. 1. Sutures. A surgical suture is one of the most common medical devices used by doctors during surgeries. It is used to close wounds to the skin or other tissues. Different types of sutures can be classified in many ways. Firstly, by the actual structure of the suture material. They include monofilament and braided sutures. Monofilament sutures comprises a single thread that allows the sutures to pass through the tissue easily. Braided sutures consists of several small threads braided together. Although it is more secure, a braided suture also increases the potential for infections. Secondly, Sutures can be classified as being made from natural or synthetic material. Thirdly, by the material of the suture, the suture is classified as absorbable suture or non-absorbable sutures. Absorbable sutures do not need to be removed. This is because the enzymes in the body tissues can naturally digest the absorbable suture. Types of absorbable sutures. Gut sutures. A gut sutures is a natural monofilament absorbable suture, which has good tensile strength. Used for repairing internal soft tissue wounds or lacerations. This sutures retains optimal strength in order to hold tissue together. The eventual disintegration of this sutures, makes it good to use in healing tissues rapidly. Polydioxinone sutures. This synthetic monofilament sutures, is used to repair various kinds of soft tissue wounds, abdominal closures. Surgeons also use this sutures during pediatric cardiac procedures. Polyglycaprone sutures. The polyglycaprone sutures is a synthetic monofilament sutures generally used to repair soft tissue. This sutures promotes scar-free aesthetic healing. That is, it is most commonly used to close skin in an invisible manner. Polyglactin sutures. This synthetic braided suture is good for repairing hand or facial lacerations and it is the most preferred option for general soft tissue approximation. Non-absorbable suture. These types of sutures are usually removed after a few days of surgery. They may also be left in the body permanently, based on the type of surgery that the patient has undergone. This type of sutures are used generally for soft tissue repairs, including for both cardiovascular and neurological procedures. Non-absorbable sutures are made up of silk or synthetic like polyester, polypylene or nylon. Implants. An implant is a substance or object that is put in the body as prosthesis or for treatment or diagnosis. Many implants are prosthetics intended to replace missing body parts. Other implants deliver medications, monitor body functions, or provide support to organ and tissues. Some implants are made from skin, bone or other body tissue. Others are made from metal, plastics, ceramics or other materials. Implants can be placed permanently, or they can be removed once they are no longer needed. The risk of medical implants include, surgical risks during placement or removal, infection and implant failure. Some people also have reactions to the materials used in implants. Artificial organs. An artificial organ is an engineered device that can be implanted or integrated into a human body, interfacing with living tissue to replace organ, to duplicate or augment a specific functions, so that the patient may return to a normal life. Artificial organs can be either surgically implanted or extracorporeal, in which blood is temporarily processed outside the patient's body. According to the material used, artificial organs can be divided into three main classes. 1. Mechanical, made of inanimate polymer, i.e. plastics, and or metals. 2. Biomechanical, made of partially living cells, and inanimate polymer and or metals. 3. Bioartificial, made of living cells, biodegradable polymers. Blood vessel. 
blood vessels are channels that carry blood throughout the body. They form a closed loop like a circuit that begins and ends at the heart. Tissue engineered small diameter vascular grafts with suitable mechanical and biological properties comparable to natural blood vessels provides an excellent solution for cardiovascular disease. Various natural and synthetic polymers have been used to fabricate small diameter blood vessels. The natural and synthetic polymers with good biocompatibility that are most widely used are natural polymers including collagens, elastin, fibrinogens, polysaccharides, and cellulose are usually formed during the growth cycles of all organism and constitute the majority of the native extracellular matrix. Considering the limitations of natural polymer such as cost, limited supplies, batch-to-batch -batch variations, and cross-contaminations, synthetic polymers, including biodegradable polymer and non-degradable polymers, have been rapidly developed in the last decades as biomaterials. In general, tissue engineering biodegradable grafts and non-degradable grafts are two kinds of typical small diameter blood vessels with the proper microstructure, mechanical properties, and biocompatibility, they have the potential to be used as artificial blood vessel. Joints. Arthroplasty, also called joint replacement, is a surgery to replace a damaged joint with an artificial joint made of metal, ceramic, or plastic. During the process, the healthcare provider removes a damaged joint and replaces it with an artificial joint. The artificial joint, prosthesis, can be metal, ceramics or heavy-duty plastics. The new joint looks like the natural joint and moves in a similar way. The most common types of joint replacement are hip replacement and knee replacement. Biosensor. To detect the presence and amount of specific substances and to transmit the data. Examples are blood glucose monitoring devices and brain activity sensors. Drug delivery system that carry and or apply drugs to a disease target. Examples include drug-coated vascular stents and implantable chemotherapy wafers for cancer patients. Other applications of biomaterials includes molecular probes and nanoparticles that break through biological barriers and aid in cancer imaging and therapy at the molecular level.